Here we are looking at the Huey injectors. There's some unique features. does not have a spring-loaded solenoid or a piezoelectric disc like most injectors. It has a spool valve. It uses a separate injection control module called a fuel injection control module. It needs 48 volts to open and 48 volts to close. Injectors kind of unique in the feature thinking about the fact that fuel's running through it, oil's running through it, the waxes in the oil, the tarnish, the varnish, all of this can cause these injectors to stick, especially when the diesel usage is a long prolonged idle time or cold weather operation. This sticking of the injector can cause multiple problems. There was a technical service bulletin from Ford that when you turn the key on, you'll hear your injectors start to click and clack and buzz. This is to help cure that stick sticking problem. Also, obviously, if you keep your oil change and your oil is, will flow easily cold like a full synthetic oil, that's going to help. And if the oil is free from varnish and tarnish. One product you may look at to help the sticking problem or to clean up any varnish or tarnish is called Hot Shot. Hot Shot Secret goes into the oil and it has powerful cleansers that help clean up the injector. Also, we're going to address the injector, the fuel injection control module, known as the FECOM module. The FECOM module has a high fail rate. It has step-up transformers that fail, and then it's easy to diagnose because you'll see on your scan tool that you don't have the optimum 48 volts supply for the injector to not only open, but also close. Bulletproof Diesel has also addressed and designed a more powerful electronic solid state control and a step up transformer control in a robust heavy duty fuel injection control module. You can replace just the step up transformers as you see here in the fuel injection control module. If you replace the entire fuel injection control module as an assembly, you'll have to have equipment to reflash or reprogram the fuel injection control module. If you're just replacing the electronics that fail, then you can go to a company like Bulletproof Diesel and use their new and improved, which is a vastly great improvement over the stock replacement fuel injection control module. We even see benefits of slightly higher and stabilized voltage going to the injectors. On the horizontal fuel conditioning module, we have wires that go mainly between the PCM and the fuel injection control module. The fuel injection control module gets the signal, the digital signal from the crank and the cam sensor. The PCM gets the analog signal from the cam and the crank sensor. Obviously, the power control, we have four wires going to the injector, the opening and the closing, power and ground, four wires. Now, this is in a tough environment. This is underneath the hood, a lot of hot temperatures, a lot of problems with connections at the fuel injection control module. Our friends at Strictly Diesel, who made our adjustable fuel pressure regulator for the injection system, have sourced out the connectors for the fuel injection control module. There's three connectors that go to the fuel injection control module and obviously the temperature and the plastic connectors will tend to warp and we will have poor pin connection between the male and the female side of the connector. Instead of replacing the entire harness, which is expensive, our friends at Strictly Diesel, we can get these connectors and repin them and save the customer a lot of time and money.